fishing with a one quarter on three rounds. Uh, three sixteenths. Or three thirty seconds. There you go. Whack! <laughs> good fish. Good Bad. fish. That's good solid fish. Oh. Welcome back to another episode on Grenada Lake. Me and Jojo. Morning fish. Catching some slab crappie on the home of the three pound fish. Don't get much better than that, good folks. Fish. Right here. So, uh, using a 126 SV, as like I said in the previous episode, uh, just out here, kind of in the wind, just looking at uh, singles, fish just roaming around, not, not adhering to any type of structure whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, they're not on structure. No. Which no. is unique to Grenada, right? Yep. Wide open fish. We appreciate you joining. This episode, we're going to be on Grenada Lake again. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So what I'm fishing with right now, I'm going to start off with this 13 footer from Ozark Rods. Check them out. That's a 1 8 ounce orange head. And then the optimized sniping right now. Jojo uses the 15 pound lightning, I believe it is. But you can get away with the 12 pound on this lake too, in my opinion. But these guys that fish it every day, they really like the, the 15 pound. It's nice. So he's had his on a while. It's he's got it's turned white. Yeah, it's been on there forever. <laughs> he Still needs a fresh. He needs a fresh. Enough, yeah. <laughs> Still holding strong. Yeah. So anyway, we're it's a little windy today. We got we just made a move. So, uh, but I, I don't typically fish around the dam, so this is cool. There is no structure. We're talking 30 foot of water. Jojo's Vexus pretty boat. Uh, what is it? 2022. What's the model? Yep. What's the what do you mean? VX VX20? VX20. Beautiful boat. Very wide. First things that come to mind is that the edges aren't as high as the bass cat. When we're running, the nose seems to run down, which makes it feel really secure. It doesn't seem to have as much chime off. Um, Beautiful boat. Yeah, I think I went a little left. Fish are, it's amazing. Hanging out in the big water. I always water. say they look like they're aliens when they come up on the water. Pretty fish. White. And I'm gonna let you take the reins there, Mr. Matt. Go get him, tiger. Go get him, tiger. fish. Look at that folks. That's awesome. Lift in the boat. That's a toad. That's a toad. Yes sir. That's a great fish. Alright so thought I'd give you guys a show you the loop knot. I show it a lot. Um, but I'm going to show it to you one more time. We're using a 1 8 ounce jig here at uh, Grenada. And uh, they say the color is black. Although probably about everything's going to work. But we put it through that eyelet right there. And again, eyelet's important on these small diameter braids. 
but uh, I'll do like that right there. I swing it around about five times, and then I grab that jig and I put it right back through that loop I just created. And it's going to create that gob of stuff like we always talk about, and that is a really good loop knot once I get it cinched down. And sometimes it will be tough to cinch it all the way down, but uh, for the most part, it usually does. Yeah, that's gotten nice and tight now. So there it is right there, folks. That is the loop knot. We trim off that excess right there. There you go. That's a good looking loop knot. One eighth ounce jigs are really popular in a lot of these muddy water surroundings, especially when the fish are shallow. I'll tell you, when they're shallow, it's nice to have one jig weighs a lot I even think you could go even bigger uh, heavier but uh, one eighth is uh, perfect for this lake uh, beautiful day and uh, in a beautiful boat with Tri Lake guide service and having a good time I'm favoring the 10 footer just so you know because of the wind and it just makes it a lot easier if we were vertical jigging if, if the fish were really close to us I'd go to that 13 but because we're casting out there anywhere between 30 and 30 and uh, 10 feet. I think the 10 footer is the play. So, those are rods. Check them out now. Three to one. Fishing. Good times. We're going to take you to a, a hometown favorite of JoJo's here in Grenada. So come join us. All right, what's the story on Paps? Looks pretty crowded. Must be popular. Oh, this is the best lunch, lunch buffet you'll get in North Mississippi, in my opinion. Wow, that's saying a lot. There it is, right there. Paps, take you in. I've never given up. Uh, is that meatloaf? Yeah. Meatloaf. That is meatloaf. Good night. Nice. Yes. Good crazy oh my god what is that no days complete without a milkshake for spencer's at grenada check them out all right well that's it spencer's chocolate milkshake Ooh, that tops off the day what a great day thanks jojo try the lake guide service I think our next episode, we might be going to a uh, softball game to start the, the episode off. So, appreciate you. Thanks for subscribing and sticking with me. And, uh, yeah, this is good stuff. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.